uh, today I am finally showing you what I've done with my second bedroom uh, slash office slash wardrobe slash makeup room so if you're interested to see um, what I've done to the room and the pieces of furniture and decor that I've picked out stay tuned <laughs> So hey guys, it's Becky and welcome to my channel. Um, hello, if you're new there, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I am Becky and I do loads of plus size fashion content, um, home, beauty, lifestyle videos. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, I would love it if you would hit that big red subscribe button down below, it is free. <laughs> and hello to all my lovely regulars. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, so I haven't done a little house update in a while and I finally kind of got my um, office in a good place as with every home there's still little things that I want to do but it's pretty much done the vibe is there um, but first up I want to talk about today's video sponsor and that is Readly so Readly is a magazine subscription service where you have access to over 7,000 magazines uh, from the palm of your hand. So it is an app that you can use on your phone, your tablet, or even on um, a computer, desktop, laptop situation, and you can read thousands of magazines at the touch of a button um so i found it a really really fab subscription to use whilst decorating my house and um, they've got loads of interior design decorating magazines available um from l interiors um to lots of like scandinavian type scandy design magazines that i really like and took a lot of inspiration um, for this room. Um, let me just get ooh, my iPad here. Um, so they've got Stylist, Cosmopolitan, House and Garden, um, Vogue, if you're into your fashion magazines, um, Our Decoration, oh, that one is a favorite. They also have loads of travel magazines. They've got Condé Nast Traveller, um, this House Coco I've been really enjoying reading, and also this one called Arcadia Magazine. I've never heard of that magazine before, but it's really great because you can literally try all of these different magazines and it's all under the one subscription. Um, one thing that I really love about the subscription is that actually you can have um, five of you on the subscription as a family plan for the same price. So mum, she's behind the camera. Say hello, mum. Hello, everybody. And you've been using um, Readly. You've been using my Yes, account. yeah, been great. <laughs> what, what ones have you been Well, I've been reading? particularly interested in the artist uh, publications. Um, there's quite a few on there. Um, you know, just to get a bit of inspiration, look at maybe new techniques. Um, yeah, it's great. I like it. And I, I quite like it because you, um, you can alter the view on there as well. You can have two-page view... Single page. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's more. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Lots of different ways you can read the magazines on the different, you know, on your phone. It's different to how you'd read it on an iPad. Um, so not only do they have magazines, but they also have a really wide selection of national UK newspapers on there from The Guardian uh, to The Evening Standard. And they obviously update daily. Uh, so you can, you know, get your, your daily news as well as enjoy the magazines on um, the app. And um, so if you would like to try Readly for the first time, then they have given me an exclusive offer. They're offering you your first two months for free um, and it is cancel any time and after that it is only $9.99 a month um, and I think that's a really great price considering um, you could split that with your family like you know me mum mm, and dad yeah. could be on the same plan I think that's a great price I think it's, I think it's very reasonable yeah. um, but also uh, they don't just do um, UK magazines they do stuff from all around the world Australian America um, but also other languages language as well could be an idea if you are trying to learn French German Spanish they do have magazines on there that you might even want to kind of practice your language with um but yeah I do love Readly it's also great uh, when I'm commuting to London every week on the train it's really just nice to chill out look at some magazines look at some inspiration for fashion interiors 
um, just nice to chill out. Um, obviously you can do that at home, in the garden during this mega heat wave we're currently going through. Um, it's just a really nice app that you can have a little bit of me time with, isn't it, Mum? Definitely. And I think, also, I think your dad will like it because he uh, he likes gardening, as you he know. Does. And there's lots of garden um, and publications. Cross, they've got crossword puzzles and you can do the puzzles on the app. As well. as well, yeah. So if you like crosswords, word search. It's all in one place, isn't it's it? It's all in one place. You don't need multiple apps yeah. for all the different yeah. uh, magazines. Like, I, I have in the past bought magazines and they just seem to build up in a pile. And you don't want to throw them away, <laughs> but you don't want to read them anymore. <laughs> well, no, once you've read them, you've read them. You might want the odd recipe or maybe an article that you might want to keep. But, um, and, and, well, I used to take them to the local doctor's surgery, but, of course, you can't do that now, can you? Because oh, well, So it's also very environmentally friendly as well, because there, no, there is no waste even to recycle. Oh, so no. that's good too. So big thanks to Reedy for sponsoring this portion of the video. I will leave a link in the description box if you do fancy getting those two months for free. Give it a go, folks. You know, if it's not for you, you can cancel at any time. But I think when you get on there and see the variety of magazines um, and the value that you're getting, I think you will love it. So yeah, give Reedy a go today. So guys, this is my desk area. This is where I spend the majority of my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this desk, if you saw a lot of my home videos, is a flexi spot standing desk. So it's just super easy to use. You've just got this little control panel and you can just move it up and down like so. I do tend to use it sat down most of the time, um, but it's great to have the option. And I like that I'm able to have the desk at the right height for my back posture. Mm -hmm. So although you might not use a standing desk for standing, I think it's really great for back posture. And I actually don't have as much shoulder pain as I used to have when I had <laughs> the setup at your house for me. <laughs> I'm actually good. very jealous <laughs> because I love, when I, I don't love filing, but if I've got I paperwork love, love to, to file, I'm much better sorting it standing up. So I often take it into the kitchen yeah. and then take it back into the study it's to do fab, it. It's a fab, it's a fab, um, fab desk. So big thanks to Flexi Spot for giving me a standing desk. What a gift. Uh, then next up, I've got my Ricky Skinny mirror. There's Ooh, mum in the mirror. No, 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 no I'm hiding. <laughs> um, this is fab. It does normally light up, but you need, to you need to charge it up. It's rechargeable, but it's really great for travel. But also, it's such a big mirror. Um, this is what I use to film all my get ready with me because it's got the, the kind of ring light thing. Uh, these are... They're not cheap. They are an, an investment, but they're really great quality. And I literally use it every day if not twice a day because i use it to take my makeup off um then i have got just like a little calendar i've got my work computer then i've got my google home um i don't know what they call them a home hub i really really love these um i do have a um google doorbell so when everyone anyone rings my bell uh, the camera shows up and I can see who is down there. So it's great for security. But also I use Spotify on there. I can watch YouTube videos on there if I don't want to get my laptop out. Um, it's really great for all sorts of things. And I think I got it for like 40 quid because there was a sale and they sent me 10 quid off. So for 40 quid for that bit of kit, yeah, bargain. very happy. Then I've just got some little bits of storage and then some little kind of like black mesh storage I got from the range um super suit I think this whole like set was like 10 pounds but also I've noticed on this black one that you could potentially hang it on a wall Ooh, yeah that's a good idea which could be very like cool stylistically as well like you could do a whole thing Ooh. um I don't want sorry if you can hear the ice cream can <laughs> I'll have a 99 please um, and then we've got my um, office chair from Ikea um, it's very very comfortable very soft it does wheel <laughs> um, then moving on to my Ikea Alex drawers 
everyone has them for a reason they're very great for storing makeup if you have a lot of makeup <laughs> i have a lot of makeup you guys know this but i do think as well if you have a lot of stuff to file if you have crafts i feel like if you did a lot of crafts mm. it'd be really good um but let me know if you do want a makeup collection video um it could be a very long video <laughs> Then on the top, I've got a Boy Smells candle. I love Boy Smells candle. This is in the Cameo scent, which is crystallized ginger, rose, tuberose, and vanilla with white woods and musk. It smells very nice, but do not put these in your window because it was, it was melting in the window. The sun at the moment has been crazy. Then I've just got this little reed diffuser I love. This was from B&M. I got it for a pound. It's very good, isn't it? I'm, I'm part stylish. of these like Facebook groups, guys. There's these Facebook groups that tell you all about um, bargains at B and M, and I love it. And I just love going to B and M and trying to find them. So that was a pound from five. Mm, um, and I think what I'm going to do with that is actually refill it because I love the bottle because I feel like it goes with the room. So I did try and do. I didn't want it to be like too grey. And um, while there is a lot of grey pieces in here, I wanted to add quite a lot of black, actually. I don't, I've never been a, a black person. I, 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 you know, guys know I love colourful clothes and stuff like that. Um, but for whatever reason, I just felt like it added a bit of depth to the room, a bit of interest. So I love this kind of, it's like an invisible vase, like it's just been drawn on a piece of paper with this pampas grass i just love that i think it's so simple and chic and then this i love this this was uh, it was i can't i think it was 12.99 from the range it's very good isn't it i absolutely love it it's such nice quality the only thing is i want another design i want another picture here and they don't have any others in the range so if you guys can think of, do I buy another one? So I get the, the same. But I uh, do my own design. I paint it myself. Well, I, as you know, I'm a soft pastel soft person. Pastel. <laughs> I could do you a picture of a cat. So I don't know whether to, because I think even for like thirteen pound for the frame and the canvas is still such a good price. If I then decorated it myself, but what would I put on it? I don't know. But I loved the tones, and I just like the little curvy babe that's on there so i also had some basket plates that i was thinking of hanging but then i i don't know i really want another piece of artwork so that that's part of the room that i am a little bit unfinished on that's okay something but to aim progress, for isn't it working, yes every absolutely work in progress now on to the bed so i'm well, going sofa. to i'm mom's, going to move around mum's moving so this room actually it wasn't going to be gray it was going to be sage green with blush pink accents made.com <laughs> made my life a living hell um i had to wait i think it was four months for the sage green version of the sofa to be told two weeks before delivery that they were cancelling my order um so i always was a big fan of made but that's really put me off them so I'm just letting you know that because I love this sofa bed I think it's great but their customer service and their whole situation mm. at the moment needs to be sorted so just letting you know the truth. they've had a few problems the haven't truth they? we don't we don't hold back anything on this channel do we mum no, no no and it's a shame really because the products are really nice so this is such a brilliant idea mm. isn't it yeah. so basically this folds out super easy like me and mum did it together it, what it took a minute yeah if that um and it folds out into a full-size double bed uh han has slept on it and she found it very comfortable i don't know if i i think i'll find a picture off the made.com website but they are fab the pillows i got these in manchester primark mm. when i went with uh went and saw em and live you get some really nice stuff in primark i know they were at 10 at each and i love the textures they're not too colourful, and I feel like if I want to change my decor here, mm. they'll go in any of my other rooms. <laughs> then these are the pillows that came with the sofa. You can use them as pillows for a bed. Uh, and then like this, 
is I love this blankie. <laughs> it is a zebra beige blankie from Boohoo. Oh, Boohoo. Boohoo have got loads of home stuff on their um, website and it's all super reduced at the moment. So, um, yeah, I picked that up and I love it. I think it's gorgeous and I feel like, oh, a train's going past. <laughs> Guys, we've had to have the window open because I think it's like 27 degrees right now. It's not very noisy. It's not very though. noisy, but you can hear it when I edit it. I'm like, oh. oh. Oh, I'm Never sure mind. people will understand. But I like the kind of all the different kind of brown, neutral tones all kind of coming together. Like not everything's the same, but it's all the similar kind of mm. vibe. Mm. And I saw that in the magazines. That's inspired me. Yes, I, I think it's got a lovely feel to it. I, I'm very jealous. In fact, I think you should move back and sort out our office oh, study. I need a big budget. <laughs> <laughs> and I've just got a little fake plant from um, Ikea. Yeah. Like, you know, you've got to have, got to have that somewhere in the house. Then moving over here, Mum pans round. Mm -hmm. uh, this little basket. Ooh. boo Boohoo. 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 This was £8. Does that sort of squash back in on itself? It does, if you want to. Uh, but that's where I would put the blankets if anyone's... Mm. Or if anyone wants extra blankets or, or whatever. Then I've got this lovely little book of Chanel that JP mm. got me. Mm. And I just... It's a little bit dusty. <laughs> 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 I read it on the regular. No, I'm too busy reading my magazines on my iPad. Just flick, just flick it open. Um, is it... Is it um... Oh, it is lovely, though. Oh, it's got yeah. all these beautiful pictures. He got me a set. That's very so thoughtful. So if anyone ever wants to come sit up with me, we can read this while they wait for their coffee or something. <laughs> I don't know. Coffee table book. It is a coffee table book, and it goes with all the kind of black accents. Oh, yeah. This is an old maid. This is the first bit of furniture I ever bought in oh. my life. <laughs> um, this is, I think, four or five years old now. Uh, well, still I, on uh, trend, isn't it? I, I love it. Yeah. I wouldn't get rid of it. Um, and I like how, although it's like a cage table, uh, it's, the holes aren't too small. You can't put anything on it and fall through. Mm. Um, then this, Tesco's, Ooh. tenor. What, including the plant? Including the, including the plant. That's very good, isn't I it? I just can't get over how good supermarket plants and stuff and that's ten, 10 quid yeah, and you get good. that lovely basket um mm. what do you call it a basket pot basket pot yeah love it nice then up here we've got a couple of little ornaments they're from boohoo yeah i love that black donut vase and then i think this almost looks like handmade yeah it does doesn't it Dimpled effect, cellulite. Cellulite bars. <laughs> I like that. That's really nice, isn't it? I thought that was really cool. Um, curtains are from B and Q. Oops. And then we've got a. It's reflective blinds because we get a lot of the sun uh, in the daytime, like right now. <laughs> then we have my wardrobe, and you guys seem to be obsessed with how many clothes I potentially have. And I do have a lot of clothes. <laughs> have you filled it yet? It is, well... Well, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. So, this right. is the fake drawers, fake Ikea drawers, right. that were hellish to put together. But I'm really glad that I built them. And um, because it's just the perfect place to put all my T-shirts, leggings, um, and I've got skirts down at the bottom. Then I got this basket from B&M just to put my favourite jeans in. Jeans, well, because I'm a big gal, I've got big jeans. So, <laughs> <laughs> so my jeans do take up quite a big, big amount of space. So I do have a drawer of jeans as well as this basket of jeans. One job that still needs to be done is I want to make this shelf up the top here where I put all my handbags. At the moment, it's just got my old storage boxes in. I want to get like, um, what do you call that plastic laminate? Vinyl? Sticky. Vinyl. I want to get some nice vinyl. I think in there. the old days it was called Fablon. Fablon. <laughs> um, oh, I've got... These are potentially some things I was going to put up. But I haven't yet. What do you guys think? Should I keep them? 
or pick something else. This also has another one in the cupboard, but it's too far for me to reach. I think they go with the vibe, but it's just, I'm putting something up, Rich, just to be bothering to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's, less is more, though, isn't it? It is funny, though. Like, I feel like if I have to hammer something into the wall, oh, it's no. too hard. I need, I need a man to do it. I need my dad to come round and do it. So that's the one Ooh, hello. side. There's mum. <laughs> oh, I'm going to step to one side. And here is the other side. I do have a lot of clothes, but there's still room, folks. There's still room. <laughs> Look. Wow. Look all that space I've still got to fill. Blimey. So it is a huge wardrobe. It's much bigger than you think, isn't it? And there's more space the yeah, other side. And yeah. I've got all this room down so it's not full it's not full folks it won't take long though i know you guys can't believe um but yeah that's my wardrobe let me know if you ever want a wardrobe tour i thought you were gonna say let me know if you want some clothes <laughs> <laughs> well i do have vintage now guys i've been selling some clothes on there so if you fancy shopping my wardrobe i'll leave my vintage down below right guys so the last thing to show you is my little kind of beauty supplies trolley and um, so i didn't want any more alex drawers <laughs> guess i've already got a lot um so i just thought this little trolley would be great because it is it is on wheels so i can roll it where i need it um but it's got everything on here so it's got all my kind of cotton pads earbuds my moisturizers my makeup removers my setting sprays all my brushes and lip liners then down here we've got these are all my makeup bags tell you what guys if you love love island and you've seen these personalized makeup bags get it it's so good it's such big size i use this every time i travel and it says my name my mum got me this for my birthday was it last year or the year yeah before? something last year um i really really like i literally use it all the time um but that's got my hair brushes my detangling sprays and then down here that's got all of my like straighteners curlers um hair dryers and that's that's a great little um hack these little specially made lids for these particular trolleys just keeps it tidy if you've not got anything going over the top oh. so guys that is the end of my little office second bedroom tour i hope you enjoyed it um we've got a couple more projects still in the running um the bathroom i'm still saving up for it so that's gonna be quite a far way in the future but it will eventually be happening um so that's super exciting and i'm also getting my door painted so um yeah stay tuned to find out what color i picked don't forget to subscribe so you can be updated on the most important <laughs> thing happening in the world <laughs> with my door getting painted <laughs> very excited for it though can you guess what color i'm going for let me know down below in the comments and finally, a big thank you to Readly for sponsoring this video. If you would like to try it out for two months for free, uh, then do use my link in the description box down below. It is an exclusive discount and you won't get a better deal anywhere else. Um, so yeah, with that all said and done, Mum, do you want to say goodbye? Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I wasn't a very good camera person. But... camera person. <laughs> thumbs up for Mummy. Give Mummy thumbs up. Um, and we will see you soon. Bye! Bye!